Hello my brothers and sisters and welcome back to another Rapture Packed episode of Chris the Butcher and Friends. Right, do you know the other day I, I, I revisited the homemade pot noodle? Well, I've had an idea and today I'm going to revisit an old recipe I did, listen to this, six years ago. And I know I can do this better, I know I can film it better, my camera is better, the sound is better, I'm still a moron. But... Uh, yeah, uh, if you want to see it, this is going to be a homemade Salisbury steak with onion gravy and creamy mash. And all you have to do is go in the description, right? I'm going to link it, right? I'm going to put a link to the old video from six years ago. Now, I do warn you, my videos back then were shit. They're shit now, but like six years ago, they were even shitter. So, yeah, we're having homemade Salisbury steak. There's a lot going on there. There is quite a lot of ingredients, but do you know what? It looks more complicated than what it is. Uh, obviously, we're starting off with a kilo of uh, best mince, steak mince, 95%. Uh, I've got an onion. I've got, uh, and they said carrots, and they said tomatoes. They're actually mushrooms, Chris. A uh, bag of potatoes for the mash. The cream is for the mash, and I'm going to put some in the onion gravy as well. The oxo cubes, unfortunately, at the minute, are my beef stock. Butter for the mash, eggs for the binder, breadcrumbs for the Salisbury steak as well. Also salt, pepper, garlic, or plain flour as well that's there in the background. And uh, basically that's it. So the first thing I am going to do, off camera, you don't need to see it, is I'm going to peel some spuds, get them in a big pan of boiling water, and I'm going to get them going because they seem to take the longest out of everything. So yeah, next time you see me, I'll be delving in a bowl with some mince and some breadcrumbs. <sighs> right, as promised, there is the bowl with the mince in it. There's a kilo of mince in there, and we're just basically going to put our seasoning in, our breadcrumbs in, and uh, our egg. So, a uh, good dollop of salt. Not too much, because you know what I mean, it's going to be salty anyway. And this, this garlic, now, it, it's had it, it's had its day. I'm sick and tired. Of scraping it out, it's got damp. So that's going in the bin. Even though we do love garlic, I'll just get a, a fresh wheel of garlic in the house. Uh, crab black pepper. I'll try and get this in the bowl. <laughs> there we go. Crab black pepper. I am actually going. I, have, I didn't put this in the beginning. Uh, I've got some smoked paprika, and I'm going to put some smoked paprika in it. Oh yes, smoky paprika. Bread comes, which I haven't opened yet. Just plain ones, not panko, nothing special. One pound nineteen p for the Mazda. Uh, yeah, that should do it, shouldn't it? And uh, do you know what? I haven't got, and it's a, it, it is to make a proper Salisbury steak. It's Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce, but I haven't got any, and I forgot to get some, so I can't. I'm just gonna leave it out. I've got nothing similar. I was thinking about putting red wine vinegar in it. Then I thought, do you know what? Let's stop. Not let's not mess with it. Anyway, we've got got to get our egg in now. Uh, one egg. I'm gonna put two eggs in this because uh, obviously it's missing that liquid of the uh, fucking shell. Got you, you bastard. It's missing the liquid of the uh, watch your sister sauce, isn't it? Is it watch your sister? Watch your shit? Wish this is sauce. I would never be able to say that in a million years. And uh, basically, what we're going to do now is we're going to get our uh, our Germans in and give it a right good mixing. Oh yeah! Pick all, get all that incorporated. The egg into there, all the seasoning, the breadcrumbs, and uh, batter here for a few minutes. Uh, so when I finish this. 
I'll be moulding them out. And do you know what? I know I've got a multitude of burger presses, but I'm not actually using any. I'm going to mould these by hand. Listen, I can't be arsed with the clean up. But yeah, normally I would get one out and get it tried, but not today. Right. It's already been mixed up quite well, so you don't want to overdo it with the uh, move that. You don't want to overdo it with the uh, with the old mixing and matching, because it'll end up rubbery. And we all like a staircase kind of shape. There we go. Staircase. Right. There's one. About three quarters of an inch thick. And that is. Tell you now that's about five ounces, so that'll be good for me. And I'll crack on and I'll show you when they're all done. <whistles> Out of that mix, I've got eight Salisbury steaks. I'm gonna have to cut these in batches. I'm hoping I can get these in the pan afterwards as well to cook them in the gravy. Uh by the way, I've got the heat on medium. Maybe it needs to go up a bit because it's been on a while, it's still not doing anything. I've got the right one on. Yes. It doesn't matter anyway, we don't want to burn the pan, but we do want some flavour on the pan. So where have we got? I'm gonna get five in here actually. Get five. There we go. Start to do something now, can you hear it? Bit of a slow burner. <laughs> right, I've got five in there, I've got three more to do. We'll be back whenever we'll have seared them all off and we're ready for the onions. That's our steaks, our Salisbury steaks, seared off beautifully, and if you're wondering, yes, they are on the same plate, I put the raw meat on, but before I put them, them on, I washed and cleaned it. Thank you very much, I'm not a complete heathen. Right, Thunions, hey, you're a Thunion, you got a face like a pickled onion, you keep it on the same heat. We're going to get these sweated off now. Don't worry about that fond on the bottom of the pan. That will come off with a beef stock. And that will add to the flavour to the gravy. Look at that. Ooh. These will take a couple of minutes. And that is it. But when we're back, I will be putting, uh, I don't know how much flour. Probably as much flour as I think. I will eyeball it. That's the onions done. And we're going to eyeball our plain flour. This is what makes your gravy. So, uh, you know, but make sure you cook your flour out because if you don't, it ends up chalky, it ends up minging and you'll end up with an absolutely minging tea. So I'll do that for a few minutes and then we'll be back with our mm, beef stock, which is OXO. But then again, you know, OXO's a good brand. But for me, OXO's are for drinking with a big, Glug of pepper in it on a cold winter's morning, which are arriving. It was fucking freezing this morning. It is going our oxo. I want quite a bit because I've got eight steaks to cover in this, and I was thinking about putting cream in this, but I've changed my mind. I'm not because I don't want to ruin the the gravy. But I need to cook this now, and I want to get it going because I need to get that fond off the bottom of the pan, which I can't see, incidentally. Looks like a pan of sewage water right now. Our, our potatoes, if you can see just off screen here, are virtually done, so I'll be mashing them. You won't be see that, because there's no need to see me mash potatoes. And that's it, basically. Should I put the rest of that in? Yeah. Bish bash bosh. Ox or goodness. Right, that is going to take a while to come back. Well, that's thickened up. It's bubbling nicely. I've turned it down again. So it is definitely on medium heat. But the pan's that hot and the hob's still hot. So, uh, a bit of further ado, we're going to get our Salisbury steaks in. And don't forget, I haven't forgot about the mushies. Eee! <laughs> I burnt myself. <laughs> don't like me, that is it to burn myself. These are fitting in perfectly. We get to middle there. <coughs> oh, I've done it again. I did it again. Ah, ah, and again. Ah, ah. Right, all the juices off the pan. Uh, the plate. Back in there. 
And do you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the mushies in as well now. So these just cook nicely in there. I'll just let them run dangle in there for a bit. And uh, the, oh, the mushrooms will wither down and they will look like there's hardly anything in there. But we don't want to overcook them either. I shouldn't really be sticking my fingers in here because it's red hot. Right, the mash is ready, so I'm going to get that mashed while these do these, if that makes any sense. And uh, basically, next time you see it, it'll be on a plate. I said it'd be on a plate, the mash is, but I'll tell you what, let's dish it up on camera. It's not very often I do this because it's messy. I don't have the room. But there's one, look at that gravy on the back there. Ooh, this smells absolutely fan dabby dozy. Two. I've got three burger patties. Salisbury steaks, should I say. Three. There you go. And the only thing missing now is our onion and mushroom gravy. If I can get it all without spilling it. Oh, I have. Look at that, your mushrooms. One more. There's loads of gravy left. Imagine dipping bread and butter in that. There we have it. Right, I'm going to tart that up and uh, take a thumbnail and uh, we'll be back sliding it down the gizzard. There we have it, brothers and sisters. Our onion gravy, mushroom onion gravy, our creamy mash and our Salisbury steaks. And not bad for a Thursday night's tea, is it? So, uh, right, let's get... Uh, Let's get into this Salisbury steak here. Try not to squish the mash everywhere. Good job I've took my thumbnail already, innit? In fact, I'll show you that. Look at that. Oh. Be a beautiful. Bit of mash. Some of that gravy. Do me gizzard. Bon apple teeth. Do you know what? Winter's night's coming in. Well, it's already in, isn't it? It's getting cold. It was really cold this morning. And that is, will put airs on your chest like velvet. It'll warm the cockles of your soul. Because that is absolutely banging. Do you know what, brothers and sisters? That Salisbury steak, I, I, from six years ago, I can't remember how it tasted. Of. I would have liked it, you know what I mean? Because I'm not going to not like my own cooking. Well, actually, I do sometimes. I did one summer, about, I browned about the same time, I tasted it, it was like, Ugh! it was minking. I can't remember what it was. It was some sort of concoction I put in a blender, like a chimichurri sauce, and it was a, a, a shitty, shitty sauce or something like that. That's how it turned out anyway. But that... Absolutely banging. Potatoes, creamy, buttery. Because I only use butter and cream, I didn't use milk. The Salisbury steaks, everything is in there. Obviously, I didn't taste the egg. You don't taste the breadcrumbs. I didn't really taste the smoked paprika, but it had a really, really beefy, beefy taste. And that's what you want from a steak, isn't it? Whether it be a sirloin steak, a rump steak, a ribeye steak, a fillet steak, or a Salisbury steak. But I'll tell you what I did. I liked it. And if you like this, press like, comment, share it on your social media, and subscribe. And become a family member of hashtag Team CTB, where I fucking love you.